So everybody, the Democrats tell you they're for single payer. California single payer health care plan dead on arrival as Democrats abandoned the bill they campaigned on. So we have supermajority Democrats in California. So if you think that electing enough Democrats to Congress is going to make a difference, I live in California. We have a supermajority Democrat. We have a Democratic governor. We ain't getting single payer, student debt relief. We're not we're getting fracking permits up the ass. We got homeless people under every bridge. So this is what happens when you have we have people who can't afford to live here anymore. It's unbelievable, right? So what has happened? On Monday, California Assembly Bill AB 1400 was set to go to a vote in the California legislature. AB 1400, also known as Guaranteed Health Care Act Act, for or CalCare, was proposed to guarantee single-payer medical coverage to every Californian resident, including undocumented immigrants, and would be funded via business and payroll taxes. So we're going to get Medicare for all California. The bill, however, was dead on arrival as the author of the bill, Assemblyman Ash Calra of San Jose, declined to put the bill before <laughs> a vote in the 11th hour. <laughs> Stating that the that later that it became clear we did not have the votes in the Democratic Party controlled legislature. The bill included comprehensive benefits and freedom of choice, such as primary and preventative care, hospital and outpatient services, prescription drugs, maternity, newborn care, long term services and supports, mental health, substance abuse treatment, ambulatory care and so on. The bill promised no premiums, no co-pays or deductibles with patients having the freedom to choose doctors without having to worry if they are in network or not. It also pledged the state to address health care disparities in rural and other undeserved communities. A poll conducted by now something similar to this passed previously when Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor. Why do you think they passed it then? Because they knew Schwarzenegger would fucking veto it, which he did. But now they're all Democrats, so they can't be seen voting against it or Newsom being seen vetoing it. So they just don't even bring it up for a vote because you are a sucker. And you will continue to vote for Democrats and donate to them. Why? Because you are an abusive relationship. You are a battered child. And you are going to keep loving your daddy, which is the Democratic Party. And you're going to be continued to be denied health care because of that. And if you watch the other YouTube hosts like Kyle Kalinske, who's going to tell you to keep voting Democrat and keep giving them money, that guy has sold you out to the Democratic Party. Stop listening to those people or go ahead and listen to them and be shit on by the Democratic Party, because that's what this is. And those motherfuckers who keep telling you to vote for Democrats and donate to until they tell you to stop donating to Democrats, they're your enemy. Because the Democratic Party is your enemy and they serve the oligarchs. They don't serve you. We have supermajority Democrats in California with a Democratic governor and they just killed Medicare for all because they're beholden to health insurance and big pharma, just like the Republicans. I don't criticize Democrats because I favor Republicans. I criticize Democrats because they favor Republicans. They take directions completely from their Republican donor class, from Wall Street, from big health care, from pharma. That's who they're taking their message from. And that's who they're legislating for. Not you, you chump. This is not a democracy. And so anybody telling you to continue to donate and vote for Democrats is a fucking moron or worse, someone who's working against you for their own interest. So there it is. A poll conducted by Lake Research Partners last May found that 60 percent of voters in the state would support a single payer health care initiative. Isn't that something? Uh, there it is. A report by the Labor Center at UC Berkeley found that nine and a half percent of Californians, close to three point two million people ages zero to 64, will not have any medical insurance in 2022. A majority of these residents are undocumented immigrants. The bill that promised so much was, in effect, a sham from the beginning, as the Democratic Party never had any intention of passing it, although it certainly was not due to the claim that they didn't have the votes, nor due to four vac vacancies in the Assembly. In all, there are 120 seats in the California legislature, and 91 are held by Democrats, just over 75% of all the seats. That's called the supermajority. 
60 of the 80 seats in the Assembly are Democratic, while the Senate, the split is 31 Democrats to nine Republicans. 31 Democrats to nine Republicans. The bill's collapse is a devastating exposure of Governor Gavin Newsom and the Democratic Party, as well as their supporters and the pseudo left who present the party of Wall Street and imperialist war as capable of carrying out significant social reforms. While Colrad deserves every last bit of contempt for not bringing his own two year in the making bill to a vote, the ignominy ignominious demise nice. <laughs> of the AB 1400 makes clear that the Democratic Party is fundamentally loyal to the capitalist system and healthcare giants, insurance companies, big business, and the major corporations. Newsom himself campaigned four years ago on false promises of implementing single-payer health care, but as the darling of San Francisco's wealthiest families, this was never actually going to be implemented. When it happened to be on the agenda Monday, the Democrats rejected it without any members of the legislature having to cast a vote in 2018 guess what gavin newsom told delegates at the california democratic party convention that the single payer health care well, i think we were there that year steph that the single payer health care was part of the battle for america's soul <laughs> and exclaimed for me this is more than a political campaign it's about democrats acting like democrats and i'm tired of politicians saying they support single payer but that it's too soon too expensive or somebody else's problem <laughs> oh if only he was in power oh my god he is in power he's the governor and the democrats have a super majority Numerous news outlets have turned apologists, the ABC7, stating that California Democrats succumbed to intense pressure from business groups and the insurance industry in an election year. The Los Angeles Times noted that instead of forcing a vote that could be politically damaging for some of the Democratic colleagues, Calra opted to let the bill die. So I just want to remind you, Newsom's big choice, single payer or his insurance donors, because the legislation is opposed by a variety of business interests, including the California Chamber of Commerce, the National Federation of Independent Businesses and health insurers all oppose this bill. I have not had the opportunity to review the plan and no one has presented it to me. Newsom recently said of the legislation, I think the he doesn't know anything about it. He's not, I don't know anything. <laughs> I think that the ideal system is a single payer system. I've been consistent with that for well over a decade. I'm never the difference is I'm never going to fucking do anything to help you get it. The difference here is when you are in a position of responsibility, you've got to apply. You've got to manifest the ideal. This is hard work. It's one thing to say. It's another thing to do. Wait, yeah, you're manifest. not going to do it. What is that a vision board? Yeah, He's right. Manifest it. No, right. So, right. So we should get Oprah and get yeah, get our vision board ready. Here we go. <laughs> the state has been down this road many times before. We so it, they've done it before. Uh, they've done it before. Uh, in 2017, when single payer came up again in California, it appeared more likely to pass. The state had already dramatically expanded the health care coverage in response to the Affordable Care Act. Democrats held super majorities in both chambers of the state legislator, and Jerry Brown had once again been elected governor. The tide seemed to be turning nationally as well. The presidential campaign of Bernie Sanders had exposed mainstream America to the concept of Medicare for All, and 27 members of California's congressional delegation had signed on to a federal Medicare for All bill. News, uh, Newsom, the lieutenant governor at the time, even made single-payer health care a plank of his campaign. Yet once again, the reform efforts were stymied when Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon refused to hold a vote on the bill for the duration of the year, even though it had already passed the Senate. According to Rendon, he did so because there are potentially fatal flaws in the bill, including the fact it does not address many serious issues such as financing, delivery of care, cost controls, or the realities of needed action by the Trump administration and voters need to make a genuine piece of legislation. But there was likely another reason the bill died. Big business had stepped in to squash it. As International Business Times reported at the time, since 2012, business groups and healthcare companies on record opposing the measure had donated more than $1.2 million to the California Democratic Party. Those same groups had also donated more than $1.5 million to Democratic Assembly members, also including $82,000 directly to Rendon himself. 
Rendon had also received more than 101000 from pharmaceutical companies and 50000 from health insurers. These same groups donated more than $2.2 million to the state Democratic Party. Blue Shield of California has been a huge donor to Newsom and state Democrats, as well as the governor's pet causes. Blue Shield has donated at least $99,000 to Newsom's campaign since 2010 and $2.7 million to the California Democratic Party since 2006, according to data from the place. That includes $1 million contribution to the state party last summer as Newsom was working to fend off a recall effort. State records show Blue Shield donated $100,000 to Newsom's inaugural fund in 2019 and has made several other sizable contributions on Newsom's behalf. Amid the COVID epidemic, Newsom awarded Blue Shield a $15 million no-bid vaccination contract and recruited the insurer's CEO to help shape the state's COVID-19 testing policy. The insurer Anthem and its affiliates have donated $78,000 to Newsom's campaign since 2013, on top of the $770,000 to the California Democratic Party since 2002. Anthem also gave twenty-five dollars to Newsom's 2019 inaugural fund. Blue Shield and Anthem are both part of the coalition lobbying against the legislation, claiming it would create new and exorbitantly expensive government bureaucracy and cause significant job losses to California. United Health Group, the nation's largest health insurer, is also opposing the single payer bill and has been pressing its employees to lobby California lawmakers against passing the legislation. The insurance giant has contributed $130,000 to Newsom campaigns since 2011 and $513,000 to the state Democratic Party since 2007. Hey, in 2019, United Health Group and one of its subsidiaries donated hundred grand to Newsom's inaugural fund. That's a very big slush fund. Uh, on single-payer health care, Governor Harry says this bill comes out of nowhere. You want to see him say it? Watch this. As for Governor Newsom, here's how he responded earlier this month. With respect, uh, I think there's a approach that's a better approach and it was an approach we were taking that was embraced by many of these same legislators that for some reason has changed a little bit uh, as this bill comes out of nowhere. The bill came out of nowhere. He's been campaigning on single payer his entire life. So have the Democrats. He has no idea where this bill came from. I don't, I don't know what's going on. This came out of nowhere. His hair looks great. His hair looks, I wish he cared about health care as much as he cares about his hair. I mean, Wow. Here he is. Trump created a program to privatize Medicare without patients' consent. Guess what? Biden is keeping it going. So they can private. So by the way, under the program, insurers and doctors can negotiate to move patients to a private insurance stream. Patients don't get a say. Joe Biden's going along with it. Keep voting Democrat. Go ahead. Keep listening to people who tell you to keep voting Democrat. Keep keep doing that. Vote harder for Democrats. If you're still watching shows and listening to people who are afraid to tell you to stop donating to Democrats and stop voting for them, uh, then you get what you deserve. How about that? Kurt, Jimmy, you any, why don't you, anything why you want to say about this? Yeah. Why don't you have Jen Psaki on and let her give her side? Like a. <laughs> <laughs> you're all suckers uh, to think that we have two parties in this country. We don't. We have one party. It's the money party. And you're all fucked. Hey, we're doing live stand-up shows in Los Angeles, February 5th, February 12th, February 18th, February 20th, we're in Philadelphia, and then February 26th, back here in Los Angeles in Studio City at our 60-seat theater. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets, and while you're there, become a premium member, get access to all our premium content. (laughs) 